Hi and welcome to this Onshape tutorial. Today we're going to look at the final challenge within the series and we're going to look at how to create internal and external threads in Onshape. Along on the bottom we have a number of tabs. The tab that we're on at the moment, which is this one here, gives us a quick overview of the different exercises or challenges and you can click on the YouTube icons or symbols to link to the YouTube tutorials. You've also got a tab here which gives you a quick overview to different resources that are available and again, you can click on this link to give you access to all the Onshape tutorials. You've also got access here to a tutorial tab where we can apply these techniques. And also we have a tab here with the finished okay, outcome. So what we're going to do now is we're going to apply an, an internal and external okay, uh, thread on here. Now this drawing has been created and if we look at the sizes on here, We've got an internal hole of 10 millimeters and a, neck, and a hole here, or a circle, so we say, sorry, that's going to create a boss of 10 millimeters. So they have been defined. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply a thread. So there's, there's two sort of ways of doing this. A long-winded way, which we can have a look at, okay, on in this part studio, and there is a short way of doing it. There is no standard tool to do this on the top. What you'll have to do, okay, is find this thread creator and if you go down to the bottom you see I've got quite a lot if you click on add custom and search for that you can then click on it and, the, and then that will load in and then you've got the option depending on obviously how many you've got down here it will be on your list so click on thread creator so we've got a few different options here and what I've done if you go on Google and type in on shape custom okay features like this custom features you would get then have a list okay and on the list if you select it is thread creator and this gives you a very good overview and it also gives you examples on the bottom so what we've got here is the options which we're going to work through so we can use this as a reference so the face you select and this could be sort of an internal external okay uh, is basically where do you want to apply the thread all right so it determines the internal external face. The standard is the profile that you want to select. So the standard, okay, and you can select that. The thread direction, if you don't tick it, okay, it creates a standard right-hand thread. And then if you select left-handed, of course, it will apply a left-hand thread. Your pitch could be determined by yourself. So if you want to apply that, and when we apply it, because of the standards that we're using, we're going to apply these in millimeters, not inches. Okay, but pitch, and you can see here, there's no constraint. So you could decide on the pitch, determined by the fixing, okay, that you'll be using, and also maybe by the tap, okay, that you're using to tap the hole, okay, or the pitch, okay, for example, of, or the thread pitch of if you're applying, say, a, uh, a nut, okay onto a threaded boss okay or feature and we'll look at that uh, the next option number of starts note number three is the multiple starts is typically used for a lead okay type of screw okay and we might need to apply that depending on the feature the lengths of the thread you can choose and then number of different options and we'll have a look at that and you can go full length so that will go from the top to the bottom as you'll see or you can determine by a number of turns and also, okay, uh, by another option as well, which we'll look at soon as well. So the distance, basically. You can also add, uh, look at the starting tape and determine the angle. And then we can also look at this option here. So leading pitches. And really, a leading simulates a tap, okay, or a die that you've used. So usually two pitches will simulate a standard tap. One pitch would be a bottoming tap. And we'll look at taps and dies, okay, when we teach you the practical element of things. Uh, if I teach you, for example. So we're going to apply these and have a go. So these, this is a good one to look at, and I'll leave the link to this, okay, in the description of the tutorial. So if we come back to this design and the options, so faces, so we're going to choose this out one first and we're going to choose the standard. So you can see it's trying to apply this. So 
we need to be a little bit patient. So we're going to use ISA, ISO standard. And we're going to look at this angle. It's automatically doing a right-handed thread. If I click on this one, okay, it will change that to a left-handed thread. And again, it will update okay, on the screen. And you'll see after a few seconds, okay, it will update. The pitch, I can decide on the pitch. If I decide on, say, it's going to be two millimeters, you'll see the pitch on the screen change. There you go. So we've got more of a coarse, okay, pitch, okay, and thread on there. So if you wanted it, okay, 1.75, for example, you can type that in, and again, it will update. At the moment, it's fully threaded, so it's going from the top right down to the bottom. If you choose, say, number of turns, you can decide on, for example, I'm going to do 10 turns, okay, of that pitch. And you click, and it will update. It's got quite a bit to think about. There you go. So it's looking at the 1.75 and it's okay looking at the overall diameter and it's creating 10 turns of that. You could go distance and I'm going to do a distance of say 12. And it will go from the top down 12 millimeters in total. So it's not nothing to do the number of turns, it's just going that distance, okay, and applying that pitch within that distance. Start taper, if we look up here, okay, this is to do with this angle where it starts. If you're putting on, for example, a nut onto there, then changing and affecting this angle will make that sort of easier or harder to do. So if we type in 10 and update it, you'll see that angle changes and we can type in 45, okay? If in doubt, you can just leave it on the standard okay, setting. All right. And then leading pictures again, depending on, okay, as we've said, you can put in two there if you want to use like a standard or you can leave it as one. Okay. So on that, I'm actually going to change that to fully threaded. 1.75 is fine like that and click tick. And it's working out that it's M10 because it's working out, okay, that it's looking at the initial drawing. If I change the drawing to 12 millimeters, it will then update to say M12 by 1.75. Left-handed, okay, thread if I want that. If I don't, I can untick it. And it will just leave it as a standard, okay, thread and update that. If we come to a cross section, so right click on that and add a cross section and look in the front. You can see at the moment we've got that okay, thread on there and the pitch. What we can do now is we can go in again and create an internal one. So we click on that internal face. It's going to obviously process that and work it out. And depending on how good your computer is and also the internet, it would then create okay basically an internal thread as you can see and I've got my standard in here so we can go to the standard you want we could decide on the left hand or right handed okay will be unticked we could decide on the pitch and again you've got all the same options in here so if you want it fully threaded or you wanted to sign or actually I want to do 10 turns of that pitch that will go 10 turns down, or you might say, well, actually, I want it a certain distance and I want it 15 millimeters. Again, that will update. Oh, there you go. All right, and if you confirm that, again, it's looking at the size, it's looking at the okay, pitch of 1.75, and it's looking at standard right hand thread, so not left handed. If you click left handed, the label will update, like so. And we can click the tick. And as you can see, that's created a physical okay, thread inside there. Thanks for watching. And if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe. And also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.